So today we're going to do a little bit of loose lead walking training. And for loose lead, we're going to use any length of lead. This could be the six foot lead, we can have a 10 meter line. Um, and basically we're looking for them to not be pulling on it. So they can be anywhere within that lead's range as long as there's no tension on the lead. And we're teaching them to respond to that tension. So the reason we might do loose lead walking is so that we can have our dog on lead, but they can get a bit more enrichment, they can explore their environment a little bit more, um, but we know that they're safely secured to us, um, so they're not gonna get lost, they're not gonna chase any wildlife, they're not gonna run into any roads. Um, so it's safer, but still keeping a nice, enjoyable walk for your dog, rather than staying in a strict heel. like this is best. Flexi leads a little bit harder for them to tell when they're getting that tension because that tension is nearly always there. So this would be my preference. So we'll set up walking and get wait for him to get to the end of the lead like that. We then stop, wait and encourage them to come back to us. Then we set off again Good boy. So as you can see, Finn already understands this concept. Originally, we want to encourage them back towards us. Good boy. And then, once they've established that little bit, we want to wait for them to make that decision to come back. Good boy, well done. We can also look for checking in, which Finn's just done there. So, where he looks back to me. So we start walking, he looks to me, good. He looks to me, good. So we started off doing this in the garden because it's a nice low distraction place where he knows where he is, he feels safe, he feels secure, and we can focus completely on the training. And if that was too distracting, we could start in the house, somewhere where there's even less distractions. And then we want to gradually build up to taking him out into the wider world where there's going to be more and more distractions. So we're going to set off. Um, I'm going to wait for Finn to get to the end of the lead and then I'm going to call him back to me. Let's go. As you can see this time, I give Finn a little bit longer to think about it and then encourage him for making the right decision. Let's go! This time he's finding it a bit more difficult, so I give him some extra help and call him back to me. Here you can see Finn's starting to make the decisions of his own accord and I give him a little reward for checking in with me. So we're going to swap onto a long line. So with that, unclipping that one, on it goes. Then we can unclip that, and he gets a little bit more space. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Finn just has a wider range that he can explore in. And because we've made things a little bit harder, I'm prepared to go back a step and help him out a little bit more. So it's important to note that even when he's behind me, the lead is slack. And if I were to feel the tension then, I would wait for him, because we want him to enjoy his walk as well and have time to sniff and explore on his own terms. If I really needed him to catch up, I would call him to me and reward him, rather than pulling him away, because that's just teaching him that we can pull each other. Here he has a little bit of a think, and then makes the right decision. see although we've got a lot of lead available we've got that nice loose shape showing that he's not pulling so thanks for joining me and Finn today um, with our training on loose lead walking 
I hope you found it informative and it's given you a few ideas for what you can do with your dog. For a written breakdown on loose lead walking and other guides and videos on training, please visit our website and thank you for watching. Thank you.